Hey gamers! About six months ago, I made a video where I played and reviewed games that you guys made and sent in. You seem to like that video, so I'm going to be doing it again. This time, however, I'm going to be doing a deeper analysis of your games than I did in the first video. Also, I'm going to not have this video be 30 minutes long. This will probably be a series, and I'll probably do around four games per video, so if you want to have a chance of having your game appear in the next one, then send me your game. There's instructions on how to do so in the description below. Also, you may have seen my community post that I made where I said I'd be uploading an extra video on February 1st to make up for a week that I missed an upload, but... I lied! Working on three videos, schoolwork, and two games at once was really stressful that week, so it's just gonna be skipped. But without any further ado, let me rip your hopes and dreams of being game devs into shreds. First up, we have a game with a name that I can't pronounce. According to Google Translate, it means attachment area in Croatian. But enough about the name, what's the game about? Well, according to Just a Dude 1, its creator, it's a walking simulator with an abandoned atmosphere. I am a sucker for anything 2.5D, so I, 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 am, I am liking this. It's got a very interesting style. It's like some flying cars, like some kind of futuristic something or other. It's got a, it definitely has a very interesting uh, art style. So, my thoughts. First, let's start with the art style because I think it's what makes this game stand out. I'm a sucker for anything 2.5D. Anything in the 2.5D art style makes me go... Yes, 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 yes. Yes. I just think it's such a unique art style and I definitely want to do some of my own when I get more into 3D stuff. That being said, I think the art in this game is definitely unique, even beyond the normal 2.5D space. There's a very low res art style to the game, not only with the sprites being very few pixels and having very few colors, but there also seems to be a pixelated filter over the camera, something similar to what a short hike does. Both of these things do make the game look interesting, but it also makes things farther away really hard to make out, which is a little gripe I had. Like you said though, it's a walking simulator, and there's not much to do other than walk around for a little bit, so I don't really have much gameplay to critique, but the art style did make it interesting to just walk and look around, so kudos to you. The next game here is a platformer where the player auto jumps every time they touch the ground. Alright, it seems like we have to auto jump. There is some, like, screen, like some graphical glitches. It's a little bit jarring. It's a little wizard guy, kind of like a Bowser-esque boss fight. The automatic bouncing makes it really hard to dodge these fireballs, so it's kind- it feels like it's kind of luck-based. Hitboxes are a little janky on the spikes, it feels like. I definitely did not land on a spike. The biggest thing I like about Bouncy Ball is that the mechanic is interesting, not something you see very often, jumping every time you hit the ground and bouncing off of the walls. However, the reason that some mechanics aren't seen very often is because they're very hard to pull off, and I think that's the case here. I'll just go out and say it. The game's quite frustrating. The constant bouncing of the ball really takes away from player agency, making the player feel like their character is out of control. However, I will say some clever level design does come out of this control scheme. The most notable of which is this section here, where you must bounce in between these spikes on the ceiling and the floor. On the other side of the spectrum, there's a boss level, which I really didn't care for at all. The objective is to bounce over the wizard while he shoots fireballs at you, kind of a Bowser situation. I can't tell whether he shoots randomly or it's in the position the player is in at the moment he shoots, but Either way, the constant bouncing mixed with this makes the boss fight feel really completely luck based and unrewarding. The next thing I want to talk about is the art. The key to having your game look better than it actually does is making your art style consistent, which I don't think is done here. The tile set has shading and uses colors that don't mesh well with the characters, spikes, or signs which don't have any shading at all and they're outlined. My guess is that you downloaded the tile set and made the other things yourself. There's nothing wrong with this, of course, but I think it would have looked better if you made the tile set similar to the style of the characters, or vice versa. 
Also, you have slopes in your game. I don't know how hard those are to implement in Unity, but they're a huge pain in GMS too, so if they're anything like they are in there, good job. I don't know if this is your first game, but it seems that way from your itch page, so it's definitely solid for a first game slash learning project. Keep it up! <laughs> Eliminate the Aliens is a top-down wave shooter where you play as a spaceman killing aliens. Oh, you have to you have to press space to start the waves, which is I do seem to be teleporting. I don't think that's supposed to be happening. Spread on this is kind of weird. It's not like even or anything. New wave. Ooh. Oh, you can hit the projectiles back at him. This is awesome. This guy has a lot of health. <laughs> not gonna lie, There's a lot of health on that guy. This game was a lot of fun. There are a few issues I have with it, however. First, let's talk about the gameplay. It's fun. Not anything that hasn't been done before, but it's a solid, fun experience. It feels nice to dodge bullets and shoot the enemies, but regarding the weapons in the game, they don't really feel balanced. When fighting the boss with a sword, I felt like I was doing no damage whatsoever, but I felt like he was going down at a reasonable rate with the SMG and the shotgun. Aside from that, there's a weird bug where the, sometimes the slimes will just run to the top left corner of the screen. I highly doubt this is intentional, but it is kind of annoying when some have sneaked up there behind your health bar and you try to start the next wave. Lastly, I'll go over the art style. It's pretty good and cohesive. That's it. Moving on. Ye Old Gunslinger is a top-down roguelite made by a friend of mine. Okay, you have to click every time you shoot. I feel like hitting the enemies could use a little more feedback. Here's a few things that stick out to me gameplay-wise that I feel like I should mention. First off, the gunplay is decent, but I think it would be better if the player could hold down the shoot button continuously instead of clicking each time. It isn't really necessary or anything, it's just a personal preference, but I think it makes gunplay feel really good in games. The spells are a unique way to defeat enemies and definitely make your game stand out. However, I find myself not actually using them a whole lot in a lot of the rooms. I only really use them when I feel like I'm in real danger, and I don't really feel that in a lot of the rooms, even though I do get hit quite a bit in those rooms. One thing that I absolutely love, however, are these little necromancer enemies. The way they have recoil when they summon the ghosts is awesome, and their little scepter really does sell the look. My favorite thing about this game, though, is the art style. The low-res characters are all basically just little heads, and it's really unique and stylized, which I love. However, I do think that the tile set could use a little bit more love, and the game could use a little bit more juice, like some hit flash and screen shake. Other than that, though, it's a solid and unique experience. But that's about it, gamers. If you want me to play your games next time, then there is an explanation on how to submit your games in the description below. This video shoutout goes to Edit, he is a fellow game developer here on YouTube and he's developing a little game called Bun. It's a 3D platformer. I just recently discovered him, so go check him out in the description below. Make some pretty good stuff. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then I'd appreciate it if you commented and subscribed. Also have a Twitch and a Discord that I would appreciate if you followed and joined, but yeah, bye!